No crazy fillers, just straight raw. CD Project Red. Now, if you follow me, if you know me, I'm a huge Witcher fan. I have been a Witcher fan for a long time. Play Witcher 1, play Witcher 2, play Witcher 3, 100% of that. Um, in other words, I just have known and loved the quality and the content uh, that CD Project Red brings. Gwent, Santa Long Gwent, just everything about them. And I just always had this, have this trust, which I still do, have this trust for the company to bring quality. So to see everything that's happening to CD Project Red right now, honestly, it sucks. It sucks because, you know, as a true fan of the company, you don't want to see this to happen. You don't, you don't want to see these things happen. Even if you're not a, a huge fan of the company, knowing that there's a company that normally brings quality games or quality of whatever field that you are interested or hobby in, you want that comp company to be keep doing good because it's going to keep giving you good quality content, right? Or whatever it might be. So to see a quality con company like CD Projekt Red to, um, you know, go down this route, it's, it's, it sucks. For, at least for me and Misley, it sucks. But I'm going to speak my mind on some points. Some of you not going to like it. Some of you really are not going to like it. Some of you going to like it and some of you going to really agree. Either way, these are just my opinions. Nothing more. No facts. Just my opinions. First off. Um, so I will talk about how surprised I am. Like I knew when it kept delaying the game, I said, okay, you know, of course, a lot of people were getting pissed off because they kept delaying and kept delaying it. But I was like, you know what? I, I kept told people every time they always came to me, Hey, Nate or Kubo, how do you feel about them delaying the game again? And they're like, you know what? I rather them delay the game than to give us something that's not working. You know? Yes. Do I want to play cyberpunk right this minute? Yes. But if it's not working, what's the point, you know? So, hey, they need time to, uh, you know, make it so the developers and people work on it can have enough time to bring us a quality game, then take the time you need. You know, people are human. They need time, you know? Um, so that's one of those things where, but then to delay it so many times and then get it and then it's as buggy as it is, it's just like, you start to wonder like man like obviously you need even more time but like what was it like before the delays you know like ooh, um just surprised you know and then the bugs themselves oh. now i will say a lot of the bugs i've seen have been like horrendous like i've you know there's always bugs in some games and you be like man like let's not forget the battlefield who remembers the freaking battlefield uh, bugs the the crazy when you get knifed and got and got killed from behind and it pulled you up first person and you saw a crazy face uh, uh those things yo so bugs can be crazy but this game has some out of the world bugs that to to be honest with you um the few bugs that i have seen personally playing um there really are more funny than anything. There hasn't been any game breaking bugs that made it so I couldn't complete the game. Like the game ultimately is amazing. Like in my eyes, the game is amazing. Like it, when it, it's so good. It's hard to, I have other games that I normally played. I had Genshin Impact. I played pretty much every day. It stopped me from playing that. Like it's that good. But um, a lot of the bugs that I see most of the time, I'm laughing because it's just like really come on you know but there hasn't been anything that said okay you can't you uh you can't play the rest of the game because you can, can't complete this mission i haven't had any of those um now i would like to talk about um going back to the delays here's what i believe i believe they should have never given a date flat out they shouldn't have given it a date they should have kept delaying it or they kept just saying coming soon coming soon i would have rather them say kept 
kept saying coming soon or here's a little more footage of the game, but it's coming soon. I know realistically people kept pinging them like, hey, give me a date, give us a date. There's a reason why when you see people start asking for a date, it's for more. It's, it's not it's for more than just um, people just want to date. You know, realistically, you like you want a date so you can be like, oh, yes. Now we know when it's coming out, of course. But for some people, it's to hold you accountable because once you give a date now, they're like, OK, I can start planning when to take off. If I'm going to take off, I can plan a freaking release party or I can plan a, a release stream and stuff like that. And they and they said this date. So if they don't give us a game at this date, they're screwed and we're going to go ham against them. So that's why a lot of people you'll see in comments on Twitter and social media, like give us a date, give us a date. In my eyes, I think you need to avoid those comments. If you only if you know for sure you need to fix your game. But if you know your game is okay, then go, give a date. But if you know you need time, don't give a date. Because the moment you give a date, you have now put yourself in a suspense and you have now put yourself in a position if you do not give the game. By that date, you would have to either delay again or which will piss people off and some people not off or you will put out a game and it's pissing everybody off. So either way, in my eyes, just say coming soon, coming there soon, coming in quarter this, coming a quarter to that. People will get irritated, but it's a lot better than giving a date and then the date coming and then you're not ready. They shouldn't have given a date. For now on, CD Projekt Red, any company let's get back to the coming soons or coming soon to court or something do not give a date unless you know for sure you're going to be ready because once you give that date it's on like donkey kong <laughs> um you know my eyes this is obviously someone in the company you know made a bad call we don't know who it is exactly um, I know the CEO of CG Product, Product Project Reg came out with an apology and stuff like that. But, you know, obviously between him and whoever else, there was some definite bad uh, uh, choices made and some bad management. I mean, potentially it might be some bad management going on, too. But believe it or not, this is where I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes. I honestly believe it's also some, not all, some of the fans, it's their fault, too. But you're probably like, how could that be? It's because they sh they've ga they gave us hints they gave us hints but not only hints hints they also gave realistic wording saying like that basically said that they needed more time like give us more time or we need more time to give you guys a perfect project but then people said kept doing death threats and no make the know some of these comments were like hurry up and fix the game you don't fix the game just get the people working to get the game to us death threats and harassment you know most of the people rush it off but some of the employees probably was like man this is crazy we just need to get it out so we can just breathe and having to work and because of those comments having to work um insane amount of hours causing more stress to them and their families and a lot of them probably was like enough is enough can we just give them the game so we can be free because these people are nuts they we scared they were they were scared they were uh, uh depressed I mean, you name it. So a lot of times they were they probably was just like, just put it out, put it out. And had you had some of us not been as, you know, disrespectful saying die and push them to make them work, work them to death. Or, you know, maybe they would have been able to had an easier time to delay it more. Or had a, you know, you know, these are the things just I'm saying, it's just not right. Um, so it's, it's more, it's basically CD Projekt Red's fault, period. But I also believe there are some fans to blame, uh, for sure. Um, in my, also, in my opinion, honestly, again, this is another thing I'm probably going to get dislikes for. I honestly believe this game should have been next gen slash PC only. I don't think it should have came out on PS4, PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox One or whatever, uh, whatever. It, it just it should have been next gen only. Xbox Series X, PS5, PC, period. Seda, Seda, what do we call that junk? That that should have been it. If that would have that would allowed them to work more time on the actual game, 
and um, I believe a lot of the delays is because they was trying to fix a lot of the last gen situations, which we see now. They was trying to fix that, but they couldn't. So it was like, ah, fine, release it. Um, had it not did that, they would have been fit, be able to fix certain bugs and probably had an easier time. It should have been next gen only slash PC. Point blank. That's just my opinion. Lastly, um, future from this man. I mean, I hope they. I mean, I know they're obviously going to learn because they're losing an they're losing an massive amount of money. They're obviously going to learn. But I think that the, like I said, be careful when you give dates. If you, I'm telling you, I'd rather you give us a, a coming soon, coming quarter one or two or three or four or something like that. But once you be very careful when you give dates. Um, as of right now, the whole multiplayer, and as much as I hate to say it, the DLC, your focus need to be fixing your game on the last gen uh, consoles. But again, I personally feel like they shouldn't even touch last gen. They should have just been PS5, Xbox Series X, and freaking PC. And I most of you saying, oh, well, some people can't afford that stuff, or or the 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 botters are basically taking up all the consoles. I get you, but I'm I'm just being as a, I'm being realistic. I really don't think it would have hurt them, and it, it might. I just no. Uh, again, that's just my opinion. Um, just my opinion. Um, but yeah, they need to just focus on fixing this game for the last gen consoles and, and basically learning from this. I hope a lot of other companies learn from this. I mean, we're going to, but now a lot of other companies probably will learn from this. So be expecting a lot of other companies now to be delaying their games without any type of hesitation because they don't want to be what happened with the, C the CD project Red. They don't want that. So you best believe this, there's going to be less dates given out right away. There's going to be definitely a lot of um, delays if they need to without hesitation. So be prepared. Um, but that's just my input on what's going on. It sucks. Again, everyone that's having issues last gen or even some PC. Like, I, I mean, I have, a, like I said, I have bugs too, but luckily they're not game breaking. But um, please, folks, um, I hey, get your refunds if you need to. And hopefully they can fix this for us because the CD Projekt Red is a quality company, man. Like this is, I just, it's, I'm surprised. Like I can't, I can't believe it. You know, it's, and the fact that they also have been taken off the PS, uh, the PlayStation Store. That's, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I think, I don't think I've ever heard of a PlayStation game, of a game being taken off the PSN Store. Now, like I said to my friend, Steam, um, uh, Steam is the only. A place where I know games have been taken off a of steam but the PlayStation Store if it has been taken off it must have been a long time ago I can't remember too many that's been taken off and then in this way in this caliber of a huge triple-a game so it really doesn't look good to have that stamp you were one of those super super rare people or companies that had a game taken off the PlayStation Store like that is not something you want in your resume so um CD Projekt Red, from a person that's a huge fan directly to you, obviously you may or may never really see this video, or some of you devs, maybe you will, but stay strong, pick up from this, and you know, learn from it, and, and do what you gotta do. Uh, appreciate everything you guys do, appreciate all the games, Witcher, Gwent, I mean, I'm, I'm a partner for Gwent, so I love I love everything, you know, so, so just, just stay strong, and uh, take care, folks. Koopa Magic, I'm out. Peace. Group of magic, on Twitch group of magic, YouTube group.